so good. <laughs> All right, hey, what's up guys, it's Ezra. Welcome back to another video. Hopefully you enjoyed last week's video on tacos. Um, and if you did, well, you're gonna love this week. Today we've got a fun day planned. We've got uh, birria tacos, uh, internet craze, been taking over everything you've seen it everywhere. Um, and we're gonna be recreating Joshua Weissman's recipe. So I'm gonna meet up with uh, Trayton, Jonathan, same guys from last video, and we're gonna make some birria tacos. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right guys, so we're over here at Train's house. Um, this is Train, this is John. You guys remember him from the New Year's Eve video. Um, but yeah, we're gonna be making some birria tacos and some carnitas tacos. Yeah. How are we feeling about that, guys? My first thing is, why are you guys not subscribed? Which one of you guys is not? I need to know. I just need to know. And if you aren't, you need to be right this second. He's got a point. Right, hey, a point. right this second. We're taking a pause break for two seconds, all right? For everyone right out there, there, right down there, hit the bell, hit the subscribe, and let me know if you've seen this part in the comments. Let me see, let me see it, yeah. let me see it, let me see it. I just you'll know, know, you'll know, you'll know. All right, but yeah, just want to do a quick intro. We're gonna head over to the kitchen and we'll get this stuff prepped. Let's get it. I'm hella excited. For this yes, let's I'm go. Hot. Hey, time to big timey. All right, so we're just starting off by salting all the meat before we brown it in our pot here. Um, so we've got oxtail, short ribs, and then some beef uh, chuck roast, and then some pork shoulder for the carnitas. These three meats are gonna be used for the beauty of tacos though. Um, yeah, so I'm just prepping, prepping this stuff before we go into here. Some nice color on your meat. You set it aside, and then we'll get an onion in here as for the recipe. All right, so uh, we've got our meat ready here. Uh, we browned it all up. The next step, um, as part of the recipe, is we're going to throw in some, uh, throw in a whole onion. Um, to get and deglaze all this stuff in our pot here um, and then also some uh, tomato paste. So we got all that browned goodness at the bottom of the pan. We, want, we don't want that to go to waste. So we're going to get an onion chopped up and some tomato paste in there. Uh, Food club. You're going to love your meat mound, dog. I, I didn't say it. I didn't say meat mound right here. This is the meat mound right here. Be, this is Gaines. This is Gaines right here. Yeah, Anabolic. <laughs> Alright guys, so we just Minced up an onion real quick, got that going, and we're gonna go right into that same pot. Just drop that right in, hear that nice sizzle. And then we'll grab our tomato paste. Hey, quick pause for you once one more time. We're in the middle of this video and you still did not subscribe. You didn't. You watched this You, far. yes you, with the chapped lips. Don't lick them now that I'm talking about them. You, right there, with those chapped lips. You didn't subscribe. It's time to subscribe. It's time. Go down, hit the button, then we'll resume. Right after you hit it. All right, so we're in our onion here. Some tomato paste. We'll let that all come together, get the flavors, get to know each other. Um, yeah, we'll check back in the next step. All right guys, so back over here, we've got our birria um, sort of stock going. Um, just catching you guys up, I put the onion in and tomato paste, then we added some garlic, just following the steps, then we added in beef stock. Now we're gonna go in with our guajillo and ancho chilies. So those are just gonna go in here. That's not food. And then we have our cinnamon stick, bay leaf, uh, peppercorn, coriander going in next. All right, so we're going in. In the video, he uses a cheesecloth to separate everything out, but I mean, not everyone has that. We don't have that. So we're just gonna put them directly in while this all braises together. So we're going in with a cinnamon stick. Then we're going in with some coriander seed. And it might be labeled something differently, but it's just the seed of cilantro. We just got this at the store. 
So we'll go in a couple tablespoons of that. Tossing that in. This is all just flavor, fragrance, adding all that stuff. And the last thing we're gonna add in are some black peppercorns and then some bay leaves. So we're throwing in six bay leaves since this is a lot of stuff that's gonna be okay. All coming together. We'll grab six out. Why are you keeping it a secret? The one, two, three. One bat. Two. Two bats. Three. Four, five, and six. So we got bay leaves in there. And then last thing, some black peppercorns. Open this bag up. We're also making some of this on the side, some of this on the side. Oh, Carnitas oh, is coming up next, hey, coming together. Look at him. All right. Look at him. And some peppercorns. I can tell, man. And that's it, that's all the fragrance you're gonna need. We're gonna cover Ooh, this, like. let it simmer for an hour, and we'll check back in. Oh, last thing. I Meat Mountain is going one. in here. Now that we got our beer yet simmering and on the way, we're gonna start working on the carnitas. So just to bring you guys up to speed, we got a pound. We're not doing as much as Josh's recipe. We toned down a bit. But we got a pound of pork shoulder, some coriander in there, some bay leaf, some cumin, and a cinnamon stick. And then last but not least, putting in the best part, the juicy limes, right? So we're going in with the juice of two limes in here. Get all the juice out. Anabolic again, you know? Mm -hmm. Anabolic, anabolic. So we're going in with that. And then last thing we're gonna do is we'll cover it with water and bring that up to a simmer before we go into the oven. So just, just enough water to cover the top of it. Right about there. That's just gonna simmer, come together, and we're gonna have tacos. Yes, sir. All right, guys, so we're back. We've let this braise for about an hour. Um, so what the next step in the uh, recipe was we fish out all the peppers, so I got those here. We're gonna go into the blender over here. Into the blender, try not to spill. So both of our peppers, the guajillo and the ancho chilies. There, last one right here. Oh, it's falling apart on me. Bro, I gotta grab the lid. Why didn't I do this the entire time? It's like so easy, <laughs> so simple. Then we're gonna take two cups of this liquid that we have in the blender as well. right here, our soup base. So you can see that's nice vibrant orange going back in. We'll give it a mix and then we'll simmer again for another hour and a half. All right guys, so we got a little bit of time um, until the carnitas and birria are done. So we're just gonna take this time to loosen up a bit, relax, you know. Smoke weed every day. Just kidding guys, this is just some cinnamon. It's just a joke. <laughs> just some cinnamon. But yeah, we're just waiting for this stuff to be done and then we'll get those tacos all ready. All right guys, so we're about 10 minutes out of the birria meat being done uh, cooking. So right here we have some Oaxacan cheese. It's kind of like uh, the Mexican mozzarella. This is gonna be a really good melting cheese for when we start um, putting the tacos together. But we're just peeling it like string cheese. So yeah, we're just gonna shred up some cheese and then we'll meet you back when we start shredding up the meat. All right guys, so our meat's done uh, braising, so we're just removing it into a bowl, and then we'll remove the bones and shred this up. And then we'll get into final taco preparation and then taste test. Uh, so yeah. All right guys, so as you can see here, we've got our cheese shredded up. As you saw in that last clip, just shredded like mozzarella. Then we shredded up our birria beef mixture, and you can see it's pretty fall off the bone right here. Then we've got our tortillas. Next step, we're gonna be dunking our tortillas in, and then adding in the meat, and then finishing them off in this pan right here. So, uh, yeah, we'll catch you guys in a second. 
All right, guys, and then also with that, we have our carnitas in the corner here. And I just went ahead and shredded that up. So those will be served up as well. Um, probably do them after we uh, finish the tortillas and everything in the pan. But. At least for one, yeah? Just start prepping them. All right, guys, so we got all our tacos prepped. I'm just gonna list them off from left to right here. Well, I guess your right to left. So these three tacos on the right are just going to be um, the birria dipped in the sauce and then um, fully fried together. This last one is without the sauce because as we mentioned in the last video, or if you haven't seen it, uh, we did another taco video for New Year's Eve. Uh, you can check just that out down below. It. Figure it out why, figure but out why. Just essentially, go watch it. Yeah, but. <laughs> John can't have spicy food is what it is at the end of the day um, and then finally on the on the right here We have a carnitas taco um, with some of that Oaxaca cheese So we're gonna go ahead and get into a taste test. So we should should we start with the beauty? Yeah, let's do that. Let's we feeling that? that? All right, let's go. All right I want dip in sauce So we got our beauty tacos and then we've got our sauce here again All this is from Joshua Weissman's video. Go check him out. Go check his video out down below uh -huh. This is what we got. Uh, let's go in for a bite. I'm gonna do a dunk. And let's go in for that first bite. That's so good. <laughs> <laughs> that's incredible. All the extra sauces, but even without the sauces, it's good. That's so good. Like it's wow. This is a. That's incredible. This is amazing. This is Mark Wing's moment. That was worth the six hours. That was so long. You guys, we started at what time? What time? We started like we met up at six, and we started. We went to the grocery store probably like thirty minutes. So I started cooking six thirty. What time is it right now? It's eleven fifty-five. Eleven fifty-five. So five and a half hours. That's insane. A lot of this is just like idle waiting. So yeah, this I'm is something hot. to do um, a little bit earlier, earlier in the day, today. and then get into it. But I, I would one hundred percent recommend trying out making these. These are so good. Delicious. There's like, like this the is a cheese. 10 out of 10, bro. The cheese is like melted low. This when you look at it, like it was string, string cheese. cheese. I didn't expect it to melt like that, and it melted low. Bro. Yeah, bro. It looks like string cheese at least. And you see that cheese pour right there. It's sticky. Bro. Oh, Why are we still here? A little spill. That was delicious. I'm gonna dunk the other side, so no double dip. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Dude, that is so good too. The sauce? Just the sauce, bro. Oh my gosh. How is that? Is that spicy? It's it's definitely a little spicy. That tiny, is the tiny. sauce, is, but just the meat. We'll get them next time. It's a little spicy, but it's not like over the top for me. All right, guys. So uh, now we're going in for the carnitas taco. Got all the carnitas. Then we just put in some of that Oaxaca cheese. Then just two tortillas layered together. Going for a taste of this and see how it stacks up to the beauty. Let's see. Let's see. Double tortilla, tortilla, stacked it. How was it? That's hella good too. Different flavors? What mm -hmm. kind of flavor in comparison? This one's definitely more spicier, I assume. So on first bite, you just get a burst of just the juiciness of the meat, and then you get a nice contrast that kind of cuts through the savoriness and richness of it from the lime. And it's all tied together by that cheese, and that makes it a killer bite. I'd say the birria still edges this carnitas out a little bit, but this is still some really solid, really good, worth it to make. Carnitas. You guys got only gotta make some more for these guys and then try it out. Alright guys, so as you can see I already killed my carnitas taco, but that was an amazing, amazing taco as well. Like I can't stress that enough. Like they're both really worth it to make. 
but now these guys both got theirs, and I'm excited to see their reaction, so let's go. My rating for the last taco was eight and a half. Let's see where this goes. <laughs> That's so good. That's see what I'm so saying? Good. That's Whoa. incredible. That's what I'm, what I'm saying. saying? Like, that one you can definitely taste the cinnamon more, because mm. it's definitely stronger, but you also have the, the lime too. Like it, the knocks lime you back. Like, it knocks you back when you eat it. Mm -hmm. It's like refreshing. Yeah, it's like a weird refreshing like. What are you guys going to rate it? Shoot, they're both really good. I give that an eight and a half. This one's an eight and a half? Mm -hmm. What do we got here? I'm going to say eight and a half too. Eight and a half. I think it's like the same level as the last one, depending on what you like. This is more my type of a thing, so this yeah. is more my thing. But I think they're both great, 120%. Yeah. You need to try them out. Great tacos. So good. Definitely try them out. Check out the videos and recipes linked down below again. Um, Joshua Weissman's recipes, carnitas and birria. Um, but as far as my rating, I'll probably give it, I'd agree with these guys, an eight and a half. Um, really amazing taco, um, really good stuff. But we're gonna pretty much wrap up the video right here. Um, enjoy ourselves some tacos, get to bed. It's, it's 12.06 a.m. Um, but yeah, we're kicking in the, the new grind, year. The grind. Delicious, delicious. Enjoying some birria tacos. Some delicious. While it's cold outside and it's winter. But if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more recipe content, more vlogs, stuff like that, um, go ahead and leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. Hit the bell so you know when I'm uploading. But yeah, again, thanks guys. Tastes great. It's a great, great day. Well <laughs> it's a good it. day. Well worth it. All right, catch you in the next one.